guys. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a bit of an interesting video that I thought it could be, yeah, worth talking about. And it's, uh, I'm gonna spend the night on, uh, on Omala tonight, uh, which I don't do very often. <laughs> and the reason for that is because there is uh, quite a big storm at the moment, Storm Mali in, uh, in Denmark. Um, and we have wind inside the city up to 100, 110 kilometers an hour. And the way Ilutol and Omala is located, uh, it's kind of blown directly onto the bow of Omala. So she, she's going up and down uh, quite a bit, as you can see with the little thing up and up. And uh, yeah, what I want to talk about is, is, is fear or like being scared of things. And I don't know what I want to say about it. It's more like I'm uh, quite scared right now. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to sleep if I would have been at home either, knowing that she's uh, going through this harsh weather. And I don't know, I need to become more of a boat person. I didn't grow up so much with boats, my family doesn't own boats. I'm the first one that bought a boat in, in our immediate family and I still don't have that much experience. <laughs> Living on boats, sailing with boats, I've never sailed with a mala. I mean her engine was broken when I got her. So it's all a bit of a learning curve and then building up experience. Yeah, in a storm like this, I mean, there's so much things that can go wrong that go through my head and I keep panicking and it's like, oh, what's this sound and what's going on there? So tonight is going to be a bit of an exercise in, uh, in, in calming myself down and getting more trust in, in how I do things. And I've doubled up pretty much all the moorings I have. She has three front lines now two springs going back, two lines in the back as well. So there's a certain amount of double ropes, but yeah, there's always things that can go wrong. And especially the side of the boat that is facing neutral now is unfinished. So not all the boards are done. And there's still some sharp edges that might fray the lines. And yeah, a lot of stuff that can go wrong potentially. Um, and I think it's, interesting to talk about fear because I think it's important if you want to go further in life. I've had a bit of a bad experience during my university time and got into a slight depression and not know what to do and yeah actually spent time off for my study for almost one one and a half years. And uh, in that time I realized that I have to do what I enjoy. And after that depression, the first thing I did was to go to Denmark for my internship and pursue rocketry because I really like rockets. So going abroad, uh, being a huge thing on my own, got me further. I mean, if I hadn't done that step, I wouldn't be <laughs> with Omala right now. I mean, I still live in Denmark. And I think in that same way, the first night when I got Omala in the water back in 2018, I also didn't sleep. It was on a calm summer day. There was no waves, no wind, but I set an alarm for every hour when I was sleeping at night to make sure that no water was getting into the boat because I was worried she was going to sink on me. Um, that level of not having any boat experience. And in the same way, I think it's going to be one of those nights now. It's. Um, yeah, getting used to sounds and waves and uh, yeah, not being seasick. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's a bit of a weird video, but I think what I want to say is that it's okay to show that you're scared. And I have a feeling, especially with men, they're not allowed to show vulnerability in, in these days or these times uh, or in this culture we have now. And I really hate that. I think uh, we should be able to express how we feel. And even if there's not the being the strong guy, because I'm quite terrified right now. Um, yeah. So if there is like 
I don't know. I'm not sure what is to learn from this, but I, uh, I hope I get more confident in my boat and my ability to, to get calm on this boat. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see how it goes tomorrow, but apparently this storm is going to hold on for a good 12 hours and around 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, it's now almost 2 o'clock at night. The tide is going to rise almost one and a half meters, so then I need to change the ropes and, uh, and then keep an eye on things. But for now, I'm, I'm going to try to get some sleep. I'm uh, staying in the front cabin of Omala. So this is the his life uh, rescue door I got from my lifeboat. So my tools here. I got my girlfriend and my son watching. <laughs> and uh, let me jump down. I can show you more. So this is uh, the front peak. There used to be a fuel tank. I, this is full of rocks and beton right now. Yeah, and this is where I normally have all my tools. It's a bit of a mess now, but I'm gonna spend the night on this, uh, this little bed here. Yeah. Have a good evening, guys. <laughs>